Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us on this episode. Right, well, the video today is about the new M chassis, the MB01, with the uh, Fiat uh, Bath 1000 TCR body and uh, I'll be going into a bit more detail about that. Today we'll be doing the running video for that so you'll get to see it all finished. Now before I get to that, I've just completed this which is the current uh, re-release of the uh, Tamiya Boomerang. So it's all finished minus electrics. This will be the next video coming up on the channel. I'm also waiting for them alternative wheels I've ordered which will tie in better with the body shell but I thought I'd just show you the progress on that and uh, there'll be a video on that soon. Anyway, we're not looking at that today, so we'll get rid of that a minute. And here it is. So this is what we're looking at. This is the finished Tamiya MB01 chassis with that gorgeous Fiat Arbath 1000 TCR body on there. Um, so the chassis, absolutely love building it. Great little build, really did like it, enjoyed that. Uh, body, body was not too bad quite involved for me and um, you know I've managed to do the, the engine all in there now I, I literally painted it up with things I had in the house I wasn't gonna go out and buy more paints but I just about got an engine sort of painted up in there and it doesn't look too bad uh, of course we went with non box art so I've just gone for a whole it's actually a micro red I've painted it in a bit like the uh, Mitsubishi Evo I did and we've gone with the black uh, bumper trims and side skirts and then I also used an ABF, uh, the Tamiya TS sprays to do the uh, rear um, boot of the car and then the engine sticks out. So that's what we did. So it's, and I've got obviously there's a lot less decals on there from box art. But I quite like the way it's turned out. Let me know what you think of it as well. Right, so any, um, any things with the car I found my building it? Well, I'll tell you what happened is when I was building the car up, on the steering rack you've got two kingpins that you need to screw in and they were really hard to screw in or I found they were and one I couldn't get them to screw in straight and also as I was trying to screw them in the heads rounded dead easily because the metal's really soft on them so I took them out got rid of them and I ordered the hardened uh, kingpins with hex heads on them uh, from I think it was like a TA05 or TA04 kit and I put them in and uh, they went in much better. So I've used them on that. Um, I'll flip it upside down. You can see here on the chassis. Now, because on the MB01, you can um, have it rear motor or uh, front mounted motor. You can interchange the, the front end. So both ends have got uh, hub steering hubs, knuckles on there. And so that means that there's a bit of play because that's, uh, you can swap the front ends around now i'm just thinking when this starts to the parts that start to wear because you're using the car more and more will that create a problem with the handling and causing it to snake more um, because of the extra slop in it i don't know but it's something to uh, keep an eye out uh, but other than that it was all good um also as well i found that when i did the body for it the wheels were catching on the inside there so what I've done, I've actually mounted a bit of foam there just to push the shell out a bit so it doesn't catch. And uh, But yeah, anyway, uh, I think, as you can see, I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out. But now let's get it run. Let's see what it goes like. I'll just put this down. So I say the, this, um, the Tami MB01, for me, it's much more closer to the original M01 chassis where you can swap the front ends back to it um, except on this new one you can uh, alter the position of the motor um, for increased traction on low grip surfaces but apart from that it's the same ethos in my eyes anyway let's uh, give it a blast see what happens Now, I forgot to say, I've put a um, Team Powers Cup Racer motor in here and I dropped the gear in uh, by two teeth. I've got a 27 tooth pinion rather than the kit 29 tooth. But other than that, it's out of the box and it's uh, fully built with bearings. Ooh, 
still pretty low. It really d does need some oil dampers on there. Oh, but it does look rather nice running around. <laughs> like, ooh, saved it just. Yeah, oil dampers will help smooth the ride out. It's quite cool, actually. <laughs> ooh. Yeah, you can see that those pogo shots don't help it at all. <laughs> but it does look rather nice. And we are going to have to move because I've got a big wagon coming over. Let me just grab that a sec. <laughs> Let's pull it off the road a minute. we will just leave it uh, there. <laughs> I tell you, it's very rare I get to do a video without some form of car or a seagull, aeroplane, something in the background. Anyway, Tesco van's gone. Quickly, <laughs> put it down. So we'll uh, get a bit more footage of it, I tell you. It really looks nice in the sunlight. But yeah, I would definitely 100% say get some oil shots on this. <laughs> Actually, as I've been running it more now, the tyres have uh, been, I say warm, but they've been used, um, it is gripping a little better now. I would like to put this around my local RC track, so maybe we will uh, next race me another van. It's, fa it's finding somewhere with the uh, tarmac you can run it on without scraping all the uh, underneath to death. Anyway, there you go. I think we'll leave it there. We'll just pick it up and we'll finish, uh, we'll wrap this one up for you. Okay, now, actually, I did think on, when you build this kit up, remember, the rear tyres, they are a different tread pan, but the rear tyres are bigger than the front tyres, so make sure you get them on the right end. <laughs> anyway, there you go, that's it, that's the Tamiya MB01 chassis, all built, it's got that lovely Fiat body on. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think about the car uh, in the comments and if you like the look of it. Right, okay, so cheers for checking this one out. Much appreciated as always. Look after yourselves and take care. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. Also, come find us on Facebook and Instagram under Andy Robinson RC. Look out for our next video, which should be the running of the Tamiya Boomerang re-release. Anyway, look after yourselves, take care, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.